Real Madrid, the favourites to sign Chelsea's Antonio Rudiger, who is closer to leaving as a free agent at the end of the season. Liverpool are leading the race to sign Jude Bellingham from Borussia Dortmund next summer. L'Equipe say that Lille's 24-year-old Portuguese midfielder Renato Sanchez is interested in a move to Arsenal, but the club may face competition from AC Milan. Manchester United and Liverpool are going head-to-head -head with Atleti for 18-year-old US striker Ricardo Pepe. Ajax are looking for a keeper and considering a move for Manchester United's Dean Henderson on loan in January. Nicolas Pepe is growing increasingly frustrated with his lack of game time at Arsenal and will assess his options in January. The Times say West Ham will be without Kurt Zuma for up to 12 weeks because of a hamstring. And the Telegraph are reporting that Calvin Phillips, who's also done his hamstring in, could be out for up to two months. Arsenal manager Mikel Arteta will look for a striker in the January transfer window with Alexandre Lacazette's contract coming to an end, Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang out of form and on his way to the African Cup of Nations with Gabon and Eddie Nketiah having not signed on the dotted line. With Balogun on his way out on loan, who will Arsenal start in the Southampton game with Eddie Nketiah looking like their best striker right now? What's going on, people? Welcome back to another video. My name is Hugh and you're watching Paper Talk. We are back again, bright and early on a Wednesday morning, to go through the latest breaking news for that ass and see exactly what's making the headlines in the back pages of these, the most fraudulent publications available to man. We buy them so that you don't have to. Love to your mothers. Hope you're all doing well and looking after each other in these turbulent times. We're all we've got, people. For now, though, we've got four fraudulent publications to be going through, including the Daily Star, the Daily Mirror, the Guardian, and the Daily Mail. It's daily, like Thompson. It's daily, like Paper Talk. Let's get down to business. Let's start on the back of the Daily Mail, who have Divock Origi, the match-winning hero for Liverpool, as they complete the clean sweep of their Champions League group with six wins out of six, becoming the first English club in Champions League history to do that, with a 2-1 win over AC Milan, coming from behind with goals from Mo Salah and this man of moments, who we have talked about before, um, somewhat of an iconic figure out of sorts. Um, his place seems to be safe at Liverpool if he wants it as a super sub anyway. Some people not really happy with being a super sub, but it really does suit some people and Divock seems to be one of those guys. Bamford injury nightmare down here. It seems Leeds United striker Patrick Bamford pulled his hamstring when celebrating his late equaliser against Brentford in their 2-2 draw. Midfielder Calvin Phillips also set to be out for two months, an absolute disaster for Leeds there. Bamford is going to miss that Chelsea game. Over here on the Guardian, we've got Rampant Reds make it the perfect six. Another focus on the Liverpool game. So impressive, the fact that they were able to make, I think, eight changes. It really was a young, sort of, second string B team, if you like, with Mo Salah and a couple of others, obviously. But, you know, and they're not bad, the B team. They're not bad, obviously. It shows the levels, I think, of the Premier League versus Serie A. AC Milan are leaders in the uh, Italian division and have been really impressive this season so to do it that easily and to make it well it wasn't that easy but to do it that impressively um, to do it at all is impressive how's that uh, over here we've got weighing room boycotts frost over done case uh, that is some horse racing, which I've got not a clue about. And down here we've got COVID cases hit Tottenham. It looks like six first team players and possibly some more staff have been hit by an outbreak at Spurs, scuppering Antonio Conte's plans for the Europa Conference League and also uh, meaning that they've actually held talks with the Premier League about maybe pushing back or postponing their Premier League fixture against Brighton. Uh, it would be interesting to see if the league do do that because they didn't do that for Arsenal when they had a similar situation against Brentford. On the back of the Daily Star, Ace Origi makes it six of the best as Liverpool do go on to break that unbelievable record in the group stages with a 100% record. Second half winner from Divock after Mohamed Salah's instinctive finish. Down here we've got Rangnick plans to get inside United heads. The 63-year-old has brought in a sports psychologist who he worked with at RB Leipzig determined to 
alter the mentality of the players and fix the ills in Manchester United's dressing room. Little headline here, Walker on the wild side costs Pep as Carl Walker's red card really does cost Pep Guardiola again, losing out to RB Leipzig despite the fact that they've already qualified and Leipzig can't. It was a very entertaining game. They're action-packed, very direct, to the point and obviously incredibly impressive as per usual. Over here we've got Covid crisis, Spurs and Chelsea both hit by an outbreak with Thomas Tuchel reporting that Mateo Kovacic also returned to training testing positive. The Daily Mirror are going big on the crisis, positive tests for star players, here we see inset picture of Thomas Tuchel and Mateo Kovacic who is understood to have tested positive a day after returning from training. Um, Chelsea and Spurs hit by virus and Conte fears the Wren clash is in doubt amid concerns of a fresh Christmas wave. Oh god, I'm really not up for that I'll be honest. Klopp, my pride in six of the best up here, David Manick reporting on Liverpool's European record and this one's quite interesting here. Reds get set to ring the bell. James Nursey says that Liverpool are leading the race to sign English midfielder Jude Bellingham from Borussia Dortmund next summer and that their rivals, Manchester United, Chelsea and City, are all in the race to sign this young man, Erling Haaland, whose Champions League record continues to grow with two, I think, last night. I just lose count. He's unbelievable. Probably the most clinical striker in the history of the competition, despite the fact that Kylian Mbappe is out here setting the pace. And the stars were aligning for Mbappe and Messi last night, both of whom got a brace. Kylian Mbappe setting up Messi for his first, a sensational goal. If you haven't seen that one, please do go and check it out. Beautiful, sumptuous Messi stuff. Mbappe also becoming the youngest player to reach 30 goals in the Champions League, less than two weeks before his 23rd birthday. Chelsea plays in at St. Petersburg tonight, and Thomas Tuchel has been saying there is a can-do attitude and that they can cope without their Superman N'Golo Kante, who is continuing to be plagued by injuries. Juventus look like they're going to be resting players for tonight's game against Malmo. They have already qualified as well. Manchester City's seven-game unbeaten run came to a shambolic end as Kyle Walker was sent off in their 2-1 defeat against RB Leipzig. Barcelona face being knocked out of the Champions League in the group stages for the fourth time tonight unless they can beat Bayern Munich who say there won't be a let up. The Germans set to unleash an angry Lewandowski on them. That Ballon d'Or has really pressed a button. Five wins out of five so far. The battle is for second and third place between Benfica who are going to be hoping the Germans can do them a favour and of course Barcelona who are really struggling in general. Following Balogun has only appeared twice for Mikel Arteta in the Premier League and he is set to go out on loan in January being chased by a whole host of clubs including Middlesbrough, Swansea but in particular Scott Parker from Bournemouth wants to bring him in to strengthen their promotion chasing team in the Championship 20 years old, he's been extremely prolific for the under 23s and is England under 21 level but needs that first team game time Rafa Benitez is going to be active in the January transfer window if these reports are to be believed he's been saying we're no joke club getting down to serious business and looking to the future is on the agenda after Jamie Carragher dismissed the club as a joke. Here are some uh, transfer targets, hope you can read those, but amongst them Harry Winks, Alexander Golovin from Monaco and Jesse Lingard. That's about it for this time, if you've enjoyed the video please do smash that out of the like button, it is massively appreciated. Subscribe to the channel if you're new and I'll see you in the next one. For now though, my name's been Hugh Rizzi and this has been a lot of fun. <laughs>